Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, I have brought back my second plate of truth that I made for heat. And I have my oven here. And what I'm going to be doing is testing to see how well some alternative products such as Mobile, mobile Synthetic 1, Mobile 1, and this nasty smelling automatic transmission fluid stand up to other gun oils such as Ballastol, Brake Free, Zero Friction, and Rem Oil. So the question I'm asking is, can these two alternatives hold up as well as regular marketed gun oils when we put it to the test in our oven? Stay tuned. start applying all the oils to the plate here and what I'm going to do is sort of zap you into eight times speed so you don't get too bored. Ready? Go! Okay, just to summarize real quick where everything is, we have our Castro ATF, automatic transmission fluid, right there. We have the Mobile One right here in box number two. In number three, I have the Ballastol. And here in number five, I have the REM oil. And in number six, I have the Zero Friction right there. And last but not least, in box number seven, I have the break free break free LP. So we'll go ahead and pop this in. Make sure we have good ventilation for all your safety sallies, and we'll start cranking up the temperature. I already see something interesting happening. Ballastol, again, does not seem to be doing too well in the heat. This is the second test that Ballastol doesn't seem to like high heat. <laughs> I don't know. I think we'll go ahead and call it call it done. It'll probably get up to about 300 degrees by the time everything is um, cooled off here. I know that didn't make any sense, <laughs> but um, it's probably pretty close to 300 degrees right now. Whew. So let's see what did did okay in here. Whoops. Woo! I saw one starting to run, that's why I started to push that back in there. Okay, so let's take a look. The uh the ATF transmission fluid stayed a liquid, no problem. The um Mobile One, I, I almost leaked out. Luckily, it didn't cross-contaminate everything, but it stayed a liquid, too. No problem. Handled temperature very well. Ballastol burned up into this crusty, nasty crap. <laughs> it's really gross-looking. Um, I, I really don't think I'm going to use a Ballastol in most of my firearms anymore. It's, uh, it does not handle heat very well. It gums up. Let's see, REM oil. Um, the REM oil seemed to evaporate. 
<laughs> I don't see any rib oil there. It's gone. That's kind of weird. Let's see. We have um, the zero tolerance. Zero tolerance. I'm sorry. Zero friction. Still there. There's a liquid. And then we have the brake free, which seems to have done well too. That's kind of weird that the the rim oil is gone. Huh. I wonder if there's any residue. It feels like there's a a slightly oil residue. Really strange how the rim oil just sort of burn up <laughs> and disappeared. That that's just odd. So what did I learn in this test? Well, I learned that um, ballistol doesn't handle heat very well so if you're going to use it on your guns don't use it uh, on your guns that you're going to get really really hot um, I don't know I, this used to be one of my favorite products and I'm really second guessing it now um, so I, I don't know what to say I, I don't want to tell you this just yet <laughs> I mean they don't claim anywhere on here that it handles high heat so Take it for what that's worth. Everything else did really good, including the mobile one. Did very, very good. I'm very happy with it. And the Castro Mercon 5, which is uh, just another ATF uh, automatic transmission fluid, which was highly recommended uh, in some gun forums, seemed to do, <laughs> seemed to do very good. Uh, however, let me tell you something. This stuff smells nasty. So, you're going to have a nasty smelling gut if you use this stuff in it. So, I don't know. But I heard that this stuff um, actually does do a very good job of both protecting, which I haven't tested yet, and uh, does a very good job with lubrication. Rem oil seemed to totally evaporate. <laughs> it, it, it went, it just disappeared. It, it's magic. And the Zero Friction did very well. So out of all these products, I'd say uh, as far as the, the gun products are concerned, I would still continue to recommend uh, Break Free and Zero Friction. Um, zero Friction seemed to have the least amount of discoloring, so I'd say the least amount of breakdown of anything. And of course, Mobile One, I, I'll tell you, all those people that recommend synthetic oil, uh, Mobile One, they, they might have something there. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take, let's take a peek at the Plate of Truth and see how Mobile One's doing as far as protecting compared to the other stuff. Okay, okay I just ran outside, got the Plate of Truth. I had to get my notes because um, I didn't remember what box I put what on here. Now, here we go. There's your lithium on top right here. Next to it is the ballastol, which remember I said it had this white, was getting this whitish tinge. I think it's like absorbs moisture and turns into it's like a slight milky color. Really weird. But here's your your mobile one. And it seems to do just as good at protecting from rust as all the other products so far. And you can see uh, parts of the plate of truth out here that look pretty bad. I'm going to still leave this out for a while because I'm, uh, I'm just pretty amazed at just what's happening to the ballast doll, which I used to be a big fan of, and I'm becoming a big fan of Mobile One because it seems to be protecting, even though it doesn't claim to protect better than most of the other lubricants, and it does very well under heat stress <laughs> compared to the other ones. And uh, at, at some point in the future, I'm going to go ahead and test this sneaky, nasty stinky automatic transmission fluid and if it seems to do um, really good out there on, on a plate would I I'll, I'll test it not on a particular show right now but you know just test it if it seems to sh be promising maybe I'll try to find a, an automatic transmission fluid that's not going to make your gun smell like ass <laughs> so thank you very much for joining me here at the gear session channel um, Hopefully we've learned something together. Again, this is one test. Feel free to test things yourself. You know, if you got an old oven in a well-ventilated area, I might add. 
go ahead and do a test to make a compare notes and see if you come up with the same thing that I did that Remington oil seems to evaporate quickly and uh, ballast oil seems to gum up <laughs> fairly easily so it, it just seems not to handle temperatures very well and uh, everything else seems to do pretty good so Thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession Channel. I really appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and, yeah, you. <laughs> and I hope you have a great day, evening, weekend.